I wanted to see how far I could get in Tarkov in a single day, starting with no money, no gear, and without using my scav. So I fired up a new standard account, deleted everything, and got to work. Woods felt like the best place to start because the points of interest are super spread out and I needed to avoid players and the AI scavs at first until I could find myself a weapon. Actually, we should just go loot this village because there's no scavs over here. If I rush that other village, the scavs are just going to kill me. Is there a, there's a stash right here. Give it. It's mine. I'm really close to another PMC spawn though. There's a really good chance we die here. <laughs> Ooh, Pox Ram's actually pretty good. <laughs> I figured we'd probably die soon, so I frantically grabbed everything I could find and hoped to either find a gun or be able to afford one if we got out. I didn't find a gun though. Give me a gun! Is the Osprey worth? I don't think it's worth more. We should try to just get out. Outskirts? No, oh, man. I gotta run to outskirts? There's a weapon box over here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know how to get to outskirts without passing scavs. Actually, I do, but it's pretty hard. We'll try it. The thing is, most of the areas that spawn guns also have scavs. Do they do collabs and duos? Yeah, man. Check out the YouTube. A whole bunch of them. My god. Should I hit this too? Got a couple shit items I can swap out. Hardcore? No, it's a little bit similar. Oh, that's nice. No, it's it's just like a... Literally, I'm just seeing how far I can get in one day, starting with nothing. I deleted all my starting gear. Well, I'll take that. Isn't there actually a green box over here? Oh, there is. Maybe I get a weapon? Oh. Oh, wow. Ammo could be pretty helpful. It's not worth as much though, but we might appreciate that we kept it later. Keep in mind, I have no meds at all, so I can't like break my leg on a fall or something. Everybody gets lost in the woods. Seriously though. The scav house area is gonna be tough. We can go around it to the right, right? Like behind the wall. This is the last part that's gonna be kind of sketchy. If we get around the scav house, we're probably good. Uh oh. Not good. Why is my pink showing up? Weird, it was green though. It wasn't like warning me. A scab was pissed. He was like, who's that naked guy? Okay, Woods was a good choice. So uh, that was a pretty good start. We sold off our Ronin helmet and extra trade items for some decent cash, then built our level one rest space, vents, and security in the hideout. After that, I picked up an SKS from Prapper with some 762 PS ammo, along with level two armor and an MBSS backpack from Ragman. Before I took off to customs to tackle my first tasks, however, I was distracted by this beautiful new desk mat, which features an out of this world print quality from my most recent Tarkov movie with Fair TX. I've been collaborating behind the scenes with Epic Desk, a company that specializes in premium, high-end, limited edition mouse pads, and I'm excited to announce that we've come to a perfectly refined desk mat available for a limited time. The print quality and stitching are just amazing. This easily fits into my gaming setup with plenty of room for keyboard and mouse, and the mouse movement feels better than any pad I've ever used. Each desk mat will be serial numbered and issued with a certificate of authenticity from Epic Desk so you know exactly which one you got and shipping is available worldwide. Every sale directly supports my channel and everything I do here. So as a token of my appreciation for all of you who order, I will personally hand sign each and every one before they ship to you. These limited edition desk mats are available for the next two weeks only, then they're gone forever. To place your order, click the link in the description or pinned comment below. Now let's see if we can get this snowball going into some better gear on customs. Man, that was so dark. Like, I couldn't see for, like, a while when the raid lightened up there. Why is it so dark? I can't see shit. No, I don't use post effects. 
I picked a really bad time, man. This is too dark. Hopefully it gets a little brighter. Tarkov movies are awesome. Hey, thank you. What the heck is that thing? Blood set's like 7k, I guess I'll do that. The sugar's actually like fucking garbage. <laughs> it's only good fountain raid to sell or to or if I'm gonna use it, but I'm way too far to craft like far away from crafting moonshine, obviously. So actually the sugar is not as pog champion as you might think for a level two. Even though we like mentally associate it with like an 80 to 90k price tag, you know what I mean? It's a good supply of food? That's a really good point, actually. It is. We can get quite a lot of energy off it for quite a while. Where are you supposed to be? Oh my god. Yeah. That's an easy decision for me. Being able to get the hideout cooking. I'll shove a fuel can up my ass. Hell yeah. So do you guys know this spawn over here? I'll show you. There's like a junk pile. Oh, saw somebody. Did you guys see him? Powder. That's the junk pile I was talking about. Snow? Uh, Nikita mentioned it. Um, they want to add it uh, maybe in an expansion in one of the DLCs. Oh, I really need that shit. This is actually a really good find, too. What the fuck is that guy? Was there a wipe? No. <laughs> Just doing a little challenge account for fun. Spice things up a little, you know? I don't know if it was a player or a scab. Scabs do patrol there, though. The thing is, when you're low gear, you gotta take, like, the scab contact super seriously. Ooh. Really? Wasn't that exactly on him? Shit. What? Вон он, вон он, блядь, ебаш его. Нихуя сон. Вон он, сон. Jesus Christ. Whew. Got ourselves a melee weapon. One tap, yeah, dude. The glorious one tap. That's true. Yeah, good point about the grip. Oh, I need that so bad. I don't want to. <laughs> I gotta take the fuel though, right? We really just need to survive. So I need that for the hideout too. I don't think I actually need any more measuring tape. To be honest. Little scab. Let's go get him. Real? Shit. You have to push him? No, I don't have to. Why would I have to? It's to the right. I'm sure he's like right here.
Oh, I wouldn't need that, but... Oof. That's tough. Should I do this? Yeah. <laughs> I want to take the armor too, but I'm not gonna. I don't know. It, it won't protect me at all. It's kind of sketchy. Because it's at 0 0.6 out of 40. The armor I have will do more than you think, probably. There's lots of press shooting right where I wanted to go. Basically have to run across to a uh, DB. I could try all gas as well. Reloading this without mags is kind of awful. Fifteen K. This was turning out to be a pretty nice haul, with the 3M body armor for a skier quest, plenty of guns and things to sell, a fuel can, and items to upgrade our hideout. All we needed to do now was bring it home. Wait, I can't... I can't use this. My right click won't, like, use it. Oh, there we go. That's weird. I think that was a player scab. Fuck. I tried to hit fire him. I'm pretty sure that was a player scab because he never made any noise. AI usually will get kind of noisy. Indeed it was a player scab and I should have been more careful for sneaky boys after making all that noise with the SKS. On the bright side, we had secured the rest of the ingredients needed to build our level one med station and heating in the hideout. After that, I had almost no money left. So I decided to buy Tarkov's cheapest pistol, the Makarov, and take it back into woods with my one and only chest rig to use as possible loot storage. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, the best thing you can do is tap the like button and leave a comment. If you don't know what to say, just type one one, two, three or something. This helps YouTube understand you'd like to be recommended more videos like this one and also helps me to know what types of videos you all prefer to watch. And if you're one of the first 80,000 who already subscribed or are doing so right now, thank you so much. It means the world to me. This next raid is pretty much do or die for us. We had made some nice hideout progress and secured a few useful items for future quests, but I really didn't want to have to run any more raids without a weapon in my hands, so this would have to be an epic zero to hero raid. Man, if there's another player across the water over there, I'm trouble basically need to get them to like push me so i can maybe maybe get a face shot feels weird like playing this scared <laughs> well not scared but like overly cautiously i guess you know what i mean That's better than the ammo. <laughs> Dude, this rain is wild, man. I 
golden cock. I can't take it. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Get the value. Extract all value that we can, chat. Oh. Chat, should we check the church even though it's terrifying? Probably, right? Is that soap? Don't we need that? For the hideout? For the laboratory? Yeah, I thought it was like 40. Actually, I think you guys are right. I think we probably... Here, let's split between hideout value and monetary value and we'll do that. I'm gonna take what I have. Cause I, I like the balance of rubles and hideout progression. Oh, something is there. I got a white dot. Oh, it's a chainlet. Did you see that? That white dot? My god, what's with the chainlet spam, dude? I heard you like chainlets. After a little more looting in the sunken village, I made my way up the hill towards Scav Bunker, where I knew we'd probably run into AI scavs and possibly players. A decision that would surely make or break this do or die raid. Are there actually no scavs here? Vodka. Um. To be honest, the sugar is not even worth. Oh, that is. For the hideout. Yeah, no! I don't see him. Oh, what the fuck? Uh-oh. It's not good. There's a baseball hat one too. There's a scab that way and that way. There's at least two. Scared me. One on the peak. I can ah oh, this left peak. Fucking scab. You peak me, man. Oh my god, I'm almost dead now. We're pretty fucked, chat. Oh, I didn't bring painkillers? Oh no. Oh wait, I have a vodka. Yeah, dude. He's probably gonna just tap us though, right? <laughs> Fuck off! You cheating piece of shit. <laughs> oh, we have no meds, chat. We got nothing. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Master class. Okay, we got no armor. Oh, armor. Hold on. That's why he was kicking my ass so much. Wow, look at the blood everywhere in here. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, we gotta loot and get out of here. I'll go back for the rig. If one of them has a backpack. This is like a little bit deja vu. Having a broken arm and uh... Nothing to solve it with. This hat is worth more than that hat. 
Oh, I actually need that to craft my first Salua. Is that key good? Do I care? All right, loot items go in there. All I got is lead stoppers. We need meds. None of those scabs had any, unfortunately. Wow, full of M61, hello? <laughs> Did I hit him? <laughs> They're all like in a pile, what the hell? Is worth more and it doesn't make me stick out as much. I need this. I think we should pick it up and just grab whatever is like money or useful, right? Was that Yatoda? Shotgun actually would be nice. Oh, I got another? I need a pilgrim scab to wander over. Yeah. I don't see him. One oh shit! Oh, dude. Well, I'm pretty dead. I can't solve the heavy bleed. It sucks. I got any meds? Got nothing for that, right? Fuck. Check the stash. I'm probably just gonna die. The hemo? Oh yeah. Thank you. I totally forgot I had that. Thank you. Back seating for the win, dude. Let's fucking go. Still need meds though. Relay is pretty good. That'll shut him up a little bit. I don't know, chat. I think we're pretty fucked. Sight on the gun. Oh, I didn't realize I could. That's a good backseating. I thought I had to have a mount. Oh my gosh, please shut up. 128. There's nothing I can do about the noise. I can take the morphine actually. Let's take it, I guess. Shut the fuck up, please. I'm gonna try to find some meds. If I run into another scab, we're dead. I mean, unless I see him first, maybe. But that was six. Like, how many? You know? Oh, this is looted! Uh-oh. Hello? I don't know why he just fucking looted the jacket. Did you not hear me? I said hello. You got any meds, brother? This gun's got more ammo capacity. I suppose I'll trade it. Thought I was a scab. Yeah, yeah quite like meds. He's a lot of good loot, but. My rig is armor level 4, this is not armor. I think I kind of want to forego the 3M. 
So I can take all this stuff instead. Cause this this value sentiment is quite high, I would say. Yeah, I know it's a quest item. That's why I didn't want to drop it. But I think I think for all that we have no money, so this is pretty good. If, oh, put it away. Yeah, the one I'm wearing is level four. Hope that guy has meds. That was a player, I think. He looked like he was looking at his inventory. I don't know why he was standing there, though. Wasn't that weird? I still have to get to outskirts. That was a PMC? No. It was. I'm like a little. If I want this rifle or not. Oh, a new painkiller. Oh my god, meds. Oh my god, thank you. We really need to get moving though. I want this ammo because then I'll be able to run the uh, the uh, pepper hunter again when I run out of the better ammo. Alright, we gotta start going. Just heal up first. I just gotta go guys, only 7 minutes, I have to traverse so fucking far, we have to stop min-maxing and leave. No, no time for any more looting. Is that a hose? I knew this was gonna happen. It's a shitty two slot item. Shitty, shitty. Need that hose. This man's so rich, he's throwing money on the ground. I'm really nervous about the scabs here. It's not greed, it's a sacrifice to the loot gods. Oh. Alright. Well, I definitely got my five scab kill. Oh wait, no, that had to be on... Never mind, that had to be on customs. I gotta get a couple 133s anyway. 
Which we could also get by unlocking Jaeger. I think you, you can just buy them. Oh my god. That was the massive come up we needed to really get things going. We got just over 7,000 XP and eight scav kills, including two player scavs, as well as a USEC, tons more quest items, gear, and extra stuff to sell. I still needed the letter for the introduction task to unlock Jaeger, so I kept our newfound trooper armor with the Vepper Hunter, which I added a reflex sight to, and headed back to woods to find it. Mm, I actually really, really don't like this spawn for what I'm trying to do. Well, actually no, it's good for getting the letter though. Oh, no way. Flashy boy. Um, if I die with it, we still, like, don't- we can't use it for the quest, but it's still good money. So it's, like, not a total loss in that- in that way. Oh, shit. Honestly, the M61's important, but it's, it's just the only gun I have that even can use it. If I die, I'd rather just have the bolts for the hideout. I said we're off to a pretty good start. Um, I don't have a... This is my best loadout, though, so I can't replicate it whatsoever. I can't buy level 4 armor at all. I have extremely limited access to level 3 armor. Yeah, we got this trooper off a guy last raid. It's pretty nice. And the hunter off a, an AI scav, and it was full M61 and 10 rounders. So that was a high roll. There's somebody that spawned around here. Okay, he's in, I don't think he came in here, no. Annihilator is pretty good. Let's go get our letter. What level am I? Four, I think. Oh, wow. Actually, I think I know where that guy is. I think he's sniping, right? From the top. Hey, let's get the letter, though, because I'm like right here. But I have an idea to wrap around wide from the back, see if I can sneak up on him. I think he is over there. I don't know. He could be on the, the spine rock, though. I also need food. And I, I would love to sneak up on this guy. Let's try. He's looking towards Sturman, so... Or toward that camp, I mean. So I might be able to go all the way around the rock. But I think he's like up there somewhere. Maybe that way. I kind of want him to keep shooting though. If he doesn't, it tells me, it might tell me that he's moving. I was thinking he's up here. Oh, wow, another Ripper Hunter. That's sketchy as fuck. Let's listen and see if I can hear him again. Um, I actually need the cricket for something, don't I? For like a hideout upgrade? I forgot what. Don't we need that for like a uh, eating or some shit? Only for today, question mark? I don't know. I'm not dead set on that, so we'll see. Why, we'll have to find water at some point. Oh. That was a scab though. Okay. That's interesting. Well, we got Jaeger's letter. Maybe we should just start to focus on surviving. I always wondered if they were gonna open this up, man. It'd be so fucking cool. I would love to see them make some kind of 
like maybe not key but maybe some kind of puzzle to like power or, or like activate this and then come over here and turn that and open it so sweet i want to see more stuff like that in this game i think the smart thing to do is to try to reset let's go for that we know there's an active Vepper hunter though you notice when i get a little more geared i slow down a little more when i have concealment and cover because now now that i feel like i have the firepower to kill anybody I'd rather try a little harder to hear them first. Whereas before, when I felt really weak, like a shitty gun, I was like, whatever. Just sprint. Who cares if we die, you know what I mean? There's another hose, or whatever it's called, too. I gotta drop something. I don't wanna drop my uh, Vepper Hunter mags. I can't buy them. Oh shit! Jesus Christ, the hornet's nest, bro. Oh my God. I don't think it was that many scabs out here. They're all yelling at me too. They know. Now that may have been a quicker raid with less action, but we were able to turn in the letter to unlock Jaeger and make some more money. The debut quest from Prapper Level 1 requires you to turn in two MP133 shotguns, which thankfully you can just purchase right from Jaeger. It also requires you to kill five scavs on customs, and since we'd killed four in a previous raid, our objective for this one was pretty simple. Well, that and making more money, of course. Where the fuck am I? It's so dark. Oh, big red. Weird, I haven't spawned in here in a long time. I need food and water, so we gotta look for the duffel bag and stuff. Those are pretty good attachments. Um, we value that over a splint. I can't really use that sight too well. I don't really care about it, but the... Uh, the uh, grip I could throw on like any basic AK or whatever. Where was that? It was indoors. Is that crack hat? Might be. Oh, that hit my building, I think. That's from really far away, though. That's an AK, probably. No, it's not. Oh, what the hell? It's not remotely an AK. What the fuck is all this? Wow. I'm not sure how I want to play this spawn. I think I'm better off going backwards and clearing the container. So I, d I just don't like the idea that there could be up to two solos behind me or a group hmm. go knock on the director's door it might open up Dude, take bolts over the ammo, I would say. Ah, uh, a slightly better S mark. I always forget these exist. They're uh, the same thing, but they have a slightly better use time, I think. This is the best kit I have by a long shot, though, to be fair. Like, once we die with it, I got jack shit. I just have, like, a shotgun and I can buy packers and stuff. <laughs> but still, I'm happy with it. I do need to find food and water though. This is no joke. I gotta check everywhere that it spawns. 20, 24.51 is pretty bad. I already have my syringe, so that's not like a huge pog champion find. But, still take it. Like we already made. Oh, don't I need that? I think I need that for something. I'm actually just going to take the M61s out at this point, because, again, if I die with this Vepper Hunter, I can't use this caliber anymore anyway. I really need to find food and drink, though.
Aha! Very, very nice. Thanks, metabolism. <laughs> Go check the duffel up here, too. Duffels have, like, a pretty decent food chance. What's that one? Dippers? Is that what I need it for? A level 2 med station? For the med tools? Yeah, but it also can craft, like, a CMS, I think. It's kind of a big deal. And then, yeah, three nippers can trade for a CMS. It's like one med tool and something else to craft a CMS. I need fuel for that, though. I had a fuel can up my ass earlier and we took it out. But the stuff we took it out for was really important, too. I'm, I'm actually not sure if I regret it or not. Kinda, I'm kind of like 50-50 on that. Because like now I wish I had the... the whatchamacallit? The thing? <laughs> the fuel? But I... The stuff we got instead was pretty important. We had to jump from console to PC. Yeah, this game's hard as hell. <laughs> it's super rewarding though, I feel. It's got high highs and low lows, you know? But welcome. Glad you're enjoying the YouTube. Thanks for watching it. Oh, this is like an extra. Can't, I didn't share anything, so. No fraud potential. I think I want to go to the bridge. I just have to kill a scab, right? I feel like the early game looting is kind of. Kind of have to balance a little bit of like looting just for straight cash. And it's possible that the AI starts spawning over here now. Right by that truck. Fuck, man, I've never seen him go up there before. It's definitely an AI, though, but he, he was kind of moving, like... I, I just seemed kind of player-ish to go up there, but I knew it, it had to be an AI. He's got a cross, so... That's kind of huge for me, honestly. The map that I like the most is a PMC. AP 6.3 and it tracks, I think. Oh no, it's a different one. Uh, only 16 bullets though, but it will be pretty good when we get to stirrup. I, like top load a Glock with those. Uh, I'd say I would, they, my answer to your question would have been reserve. Somebody else asked me that earlier too, which map is my favorite. Uh, if not for the alarm, but I fucking hate the alarm. It's so irritating. It's a scab. I don't like that he's like shooting at me so quickly. that angle. Load bullets into the big mag? Alright. <laughs> I didn't even think of that one. That's some, that's some loot goblin tips right there. Alright, that's a little better. Let's see if there's any food. I'm actually just gonna eat that. Uh, I know it's got flea market value, but it doesn't have any to me at my level. Having energy is more important. So we've heard AKs and a grenade. It certainly feels like it could be Rishala. I don't think it's worth risking my best kit just to go look though. I don't have a flashlight either, so I could get like really wrecked. I think we pre paint and just run across. Try to get out of here. Inside the gas. I don't want to fight him. Too noisy. Track the tension over here. 
I got an Utar armor, but we gotta just go. Fuck the stashes and shit. Don't laugh at me. He's laughing at me. Get out of here. Well, we cut it a little close at the end there, but we made it out with some more money and turned in the quest for Prapper. He gives you a Keter as a reward, which I normally just sell, but since we just received a daily task to survive factory, as well as another to kill some scavs, I decided to bring it in with some cheap armor, setting aside our best armor to use with the Vepper Hunter again later. Sadly, while I was messing around with some hotkey changes before this raid, I'd accidentally unbound my sprint button. Why am I not running? Oh no, I can't run! Because of the bind that I changed. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, chat. I'm just, I'm just gonna reset. If I can. Fuck these key binds, bro! I'll come back. No. Uh, well, I could change it here, actually, right? Wait, I'm still not running. Whoa, why can't I run? so weird. Weird indeed. Luckily the XP from killing that guy the last second was just enough not to get a run through. I fixed my sprint hotkey, healed up, and went right back in. Station? What do I need that for? Isn't that right here? It's this, right? Oh yeah, I could have a gas in. We should check it. the double barrel. jump down.
exploration bonus, by the way. For the key, yeah, I found the pumping station key in a jacket. Yeah, I did a loose scan, see if there's any loot. This room sucks, honestly, for loot. It's like so often empty. I got the 3M we need too. This raid was actually a pretty big deal for us. There wasn't anything crazy in the Pilgrim backpack, but we got a Fountain Raid 3M body armor for Skier to complete his task and completed both our daily tasks as well for surviving factory and killing those player scabs. We also had enough to build the generator, workbench, and illumination. Now we needed to do the convoy quest for Prapper, which unlocks the compass. So I put away our little SMG kit for now and took out our trusty old Vepper Hunter kit back to woods, this time with our newfound Pilgrim backpack. We are a bear. I figured I'd go bear. So I, I always go USEC. I used to do it because of the voice comms, but now that we have VoIP, I don't care anymore. I don't even really use the voice comms anymore. It's like almost no point in having them. They're kind of cool. They make good cinematic stuff. From like a YouTuber standpoint, I like them, but like from gameplay, it's like they're almost useless. IMO. So now you can just fucking say whatever you want. Ah, uh, no fuel. We got a water filter there. Helix. I think that's it. And then whatever's in these boxes. Oh, you didn't because of the rogues. I forgot about the rogues, honestly. I don't think I care enough, though. Sure. Oh. Should I just use it? I'll save it, because we don't have any meds. If I die with it, I can't use it for the quest still. But at least at least I would like have it as a med. It's probably, probably better than the other things. Yeah, I mean a lot of my the filter and the water filter are both kind of shit for just selling. But in the beginning of the raid, I just take everything, man. Get the XP better than empty slots if I have to leave. So what do we- I forgot what I was supposed to do here. Oh yeah, the convoy, the convoy. Uh, man, we are wicked far from it, honestly. It's kind of like a shit spot for it. I guess I'll just run past the plane and behind the mountain and go for it. Like an AK, yeah. I don't know that we could actually use that gun. Like, effectively. I don't know if I can buy mags and shit for it at my level, is what I mean by that. I can buy ammo. 855 is not the worst. Honestly, that ammo gets a bad rap. It's not as bad as people say it is. 
IMO. It's also not amazing by any means. <laughs> Shots out where I was about to go. That was my other main go-to in previous wipes, it's just 8R and 855. Ooh. We're a little too, like, poor to invest in rushing that right now. Probably not bring an ADAR. Sniper scab? Uh, I mean, maybe. I was gonna see if anyone was up here, but these aren't looted, so I doubt it. It's pretty good. Honestly, I should just bind this and save that as backup. Is that a dead guy? No. Shit, there's two of them. Oh my god, dude. That was, that was a grenade shrapnel. Man, I shouldn't have shot so soon. Those guys are so juicy though. still up there.
don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the angle. Convoy, that's gonna be so hard to do with these guys on the map. Like, while well, doing it's not hard, but like coming back this way to Xville might be. Well, I heard him jumping and running and shit. I actually might re peek that same fucking side. Now they're not looking there. They're gonna keep checking. So they will eventually. Maybe I can peek when they're not looking. Yeah, they're very focused on streaming and whatever players are near. still here. I don't think they are. It seemed like those geared guys had moved on before I'd found an angle on them, so I decided to proceed with the convoy mission for now. Yeah, I think they headed down as well. I definitely scared them, dude. Vepper Hunter is scary as fuck. Doesn't matter how geared you are. I have no idea where these fucking guys are, man. I think they must have gone toward the Humper camp, though, right? Actually, I actually don't really know where the USAC camp is from here. I'm a little bit lost. Isn't it, like, vaguely this way? If only I had the compass that you get for, as a reward. I think I'm, like, behind the village and shit, right? What is that? Oh, okay. I know where I am. Oh, uh, no, we don't have snacks. Actually, we should go to the village, then. I'm if this if there's scavs here I might kill them with the AK. Dead. see it. Alright, we got snacks. That's good. They're looking pretty good here now. Let's see if we skip the rest of the village and continue with the mission. But honestly, like, it's it's not super hard to make money this way. As I feel I'm partially demonstrating by doing this challenge. Certainly there's like a million factors though, and we got, we got a little lucky on some of the raids too. I do acknowledge this. But I just mean like, there's just so much shit everywhere, especially if you are allowed to play your scab, like a normal account. A lot of money in your scav, but all of it comes from like map knowledge, right? Like knowing how to exfil, knowing where the scavs are going to be, where players are likely to be, and where the where at least some good loot is. Like you don't have to know all the loot, but having a gist is important. But even if you don't, I guess if you just explore like every building, you'll find loot. This game is in a pretty good place with that. I feel like the explorers do get rewarded. I think. I'm pretty- I'm very unlikely to run into those geared guys now. This late in the raid, they probably left or died or something. So the convoy truck is over here. Need that. Nine minutes. A lot of sprinting. 
The real hub is learning to survive consistently. Yeah, I could agree with that. But, uh, yeah, that's like partly in tandem with learning the maps, but not entirely. I agree. Because you have to learn like how to play out scenarios and stuff too. Learning the maps only lets you know how to leave, but not necessarily how to like survive. That's looted that box. It lets you know how to survive when you don't get in a fight. <laughs> yeah, where is the rest? The USEC camp. Is it over here? Shit, I think it is. Isn't that it up there? Yeah, 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 okay, okay, I got it. It's right there. I think it's that hill. Because that one's the medical one. Now the big risk is player scavs. And time. It's looted, so just get out of here. It's looted. I have no stamina, so I'm just gonna check it anyway. Oh. Okay. It's one of my quest items. Worth? I wanna crest this hill, then we're pretty much good from all the angles behind me now. Looted. Snacks? Uh, 50, I'm at 56, 58. Unless you're talking about the one I found. I need that for a Jaeger task, though. That very first task it gives you, actually. Stuff spawns on this, that, and that. So that's worth looking at, too. Save my stamina for that big run when the wall opens up. Just walk to it, now that I've done it two or three times today already. <laughs> get out here yeah I mean I'm not really trying to put a specific name on it Scorpio but I I uh, it's more for an idea I had for a video I kind of wanted to just see like how far could we get from having absolutely nothing from playing PMC only in like one normal game session because I kind of want to like translate it to like you know I, I guess like what the average gamer I feel like I mean I don't have any statistics for it but I kind of assume the average gamer probably sits down and plays this game for like maybe four or five hours obviously sometimes quite a bit less and some people will do a marathon session which is why i call it an average <laughs> if that makes any sense chat where should we go now assuming i do survive this last couple seconds here stripper hunter loda is paying dividends man we're almost out of m61 but still pretty good well, that was a tricky raid to maneuver around those geared guys, but at least we got some shots on them and finished the convoy task. After equipping my new compass, I decided to take the same Vepper Hunter kit back into customs to work on the pocket watch quest for Prapper. Oh, I thought I saw a guy up here. Just a tree. Sometimes when you get a Chad spawning on that corner, they'll just, they'll just run around on the roof. But if you like, if you see it coming, it's actually pretty easy to counter. It's just... They're hoping to kind of surprise you because you don't expect to see someone up there typically, right? Why is there never any loot here anymore? What the fuck? Video about solo anxiety? No. I have one for gear if you're like, that's probably the most similar thing. What do you got? Free crowbar. A helmet that I destroyed. Nice. I feel like we're already kind of thick. Like, movement speed. 37. Oh, this though. Actually, I don't even think we will need that stuff. We have a few level 3 and 4 armors already. And I can, uh... I can buy another Ule every reset. That should be enough to get me until I can buy better stuff. What are you supposed to be? 110. That's got a safe in it, so that's pretty good. Is he aggroed on me? Where is he?
Wait, did he see the dead body? He might be yelling because of that. Where is this scab? <laughs> that didn't work. What? Dude. All that blood. What is that? Oh, that's a splint. Be nice to have actually. Got a pass turn right here. What the fuck, dude? Skull ring. Check the car? Yeah, yeah. Actually, you need one of those. I forget for what. You, you need it for, like, one of the hideout modules. I actually might take that to stack attachments on too. Actually, we need drinks, so I gotta go in here. There's at least a chance in the back. I didn't realize how bad our food and water was though. Well, I guess we have food now. Actually, we'll take that. If we do survive, it's an extra hunter mag that I don't have. Oh, that's open. I figured he wouldn't be here, but worth checking, right? Can I search that? Let's get rid of that helmet, it's too heavy. I can buy them for 20k, it's not worth carrying around. Okay, search these. I, was, I came up here because I was hoping he might have left some food. I feel like a lot of people put a very low priority on food, which depends too. I mean, if you're if you're in raids very quickly, you don't need it as often as someone who takes their time like me. And then also, I'm low level, so my character's like two metabolism or something. No drinks. That. That for a CMS. Right, let's go back to the bridge because we need to find some food and water. CB14. Uh, that would make woods a little easier, but I just don't think. I don't want to take the skull or the meds out for that. We have M61s in this mag. While I do agree you should get a good bonus for maxing out your strength, I think the one you do get is ridiculous. Like the difference between one point below max and max is like your loadout suddenly is weightless. That's a huge jump. This would be fun. I keep that. This would be fun too, shit. Alright, we need food.
Actually, I need drinks more than food, but... Oh! It's the thing. I need that one for a quest, though. Damn it! Oh! That's an AI. Run! Oh my god, I hate when they don't run. <laughs> it just stands there. Let's just try to make it to this snack shack. Oh shit. Oh my god, the skies are fucking cracked out of their mind, dude. Hold on, let me heal. Time out. Can't see. Fuck you. That's not the AK though. Like right here. Oh, I was a player scab. I couldn't fucking see it. That was quite an interesting scenario. Getting bullied by regular scavs from all sides, only to be pushed by a player scav capitalizing on the noise. Much like the other time we died today, which was also on customs to a player scav chasing our shots. Still, after about a five and a half hour live stream, we'd managed to go seven and two, if you count that little almost run through raid on factory where we accidentally unbound the sprint hotkey. Before we get to the very end, I want to remind you guys to pre-order a desk mat if you're interested, which will all be hand signed by me and they're available only until may 3rd 2022 then gone forever link in the description and pinned comment below make sure to follow my live stream on twitch if you haven't already as well to check out these challenges and adventures as they happen live and of course to ask me anything about the game or just chill with an awesome community link for that below as well when all was said and done today we were left with 790k in the stash our hideout fully built to level one base modules and a decent little stash of random gear and hideout upgrades to fall back on. My question for you then is, should we do a day two and take loot plunderers adventures further? In any case, I have some pretty cool movie ideas coming later this year I think you guys are really going to enjoy, and if you're new to the channel or haven't seen my other Tarkov movies, I'd start with either the Stranded Peacekeeper movie, which is the first one I made, or Tenacity, which is the most recent with Fair TX where the desk mat design comes from. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.